understand them. If not, you can sit. When I say make some noise for the birthday girl, I need it to be loud. It's hell in here. Y'all want that? Ladies and gentlemen, 107.5 WBLS. I am your host, Hassan Oliver. We here for Tasha Nisha's 50th birthday party. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the birthday girl. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tasha. 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 Make your way, make sure y'all say what's up. No Android phones, we don't want that. Hey, big bro. <laughs> Those who just came late. Y'all coming in? They, they still coming in from that. They don't call the 39 from Valley Fair. <laughs> they gonna address everything. They don't call the 39 with a transfer from Five Kitty. Birthday girl dress snatched. If that's a new word, she snatched. That's old. Uh, what's the new shit? So much working with That's what's up. Y'all just in time, cause we about to we about to start this roll song. We ain't about to sit here and keep hearing these old high school stories. I'm getting tired of that shit. No, stop. She about to cry again. This girl been crying all day. That's what's up, though. You should cry. You, every birthday is a blessing, man. Hey, we're the brother out here to take the music down so we can get right to it. Now they talk about when they used to work for Speedy together. Ain't that some shit? I used to work for Speedy. I worked at. <laughs> Who worked for Speedy before? Clap it up. You worked for Speedy, put your hand up. Don't, don't, act, don't front. <laughs> act like you was born and raised in South Orange. Knock it off. <laughs> South Orange be outside. I was outside the courthouse with a parking ticket, goddammit. South Orange, Maplewood. Pulled over every time. So I can't, I can't restore the car in South Orange. Actually, that, they think that's new. We've been outside, right? Yeah. Have you been outside, bro? Hey, big bro. Can you tell? Uh, I need the music again. Thank you. Well, y'all got to give it up for y'all. Y'all waiting, man. He, he got this whole section to himself. He getting that bag. He said, look, hire one server. I got it. <laughs> got his little, got his little Jonas here again. He doing his numbers. Yeah, I know I'm terrible. Shit. It ain't my fault. I went to West Side High School. Shit. Look, look, look. Yeah, look. I always say shit about that. Come back in here, out there. You gonna smoke my three blunts out there? You can tell. I know I'm telling you. Bring it. <laughs> she out there on her third blunt. It's legal. All right, you, you can turn the music out. Yeah, the music out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get up for yourself. Give me a little volume on the mic a little bit. Get up for yourself so far, man. You're sitting down, you're eating. And you can face this way. You're sitting down, you're eating. We're about to get to the roast. That's what's up, bro. I like that blazer, man. We give a shout out to all the brothers and the blazers in the house. Yeah. Ladies, ain't they looking good, ladies? Yeah. I'm tired, they didn't jump their blazers. No more thermals, Tim's. If you the came with a thermal and Timlin on. All right, man. Fellas, give it up for the ladies. Yeah. They came out. Got the housewives of York over there. I see y'all. F-R-E-E, we be good. Let's go. So these two was like, let's go. Chicks, it, it ain't no party without. Just cause you hood don't mean you 
ignorant though. You just like to have fun. I know a lot of hood chicks with degrees. Oh, and snap benefits. And snap benefits. F O E D, I got a college degree and I would took King. Let's go. Oh good. I don't even say oh good. I say shit. I heard my daughter saying that. Oh good. I said no. On homework. Married couples, clap it up if you're married. Where you at? God damn. This is F R E I N G. Rest in there, trucking up no headlights. I ain't gonna lie, that's my grandmother. That's her grandmother's favorite shit. She be trucking her senior season home, trucking on them dentures. You know what, y'all? Y'all saw the movie Moonlight? I thought that was him right there. Oh, shit. Huh? I could tell, see, we got the bougie one here. I can't say he fine. You know, no, no, you done took that shit to the weak weight section. Knock it off. Anybody else from the weak weight section? Yeah. They all AT, they always thought they was better than number blocks. They always thought they was better than number blocks. I tell y'all what y'all did. Y'all had a good band that weak way. That band, Shabazz had a good band. West side, we, we, West side, we from the number blocks. I represent West side. 16th down. The weak way only had a band and a half a fashion show. Cause Thanksgiving week way, I ain't gonna lie, y'all owned it. They played Shabazz, y'all down by a hundred. But the band still be playing. Do, 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 do. Ish, ish, you on the bus. Do, 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 do. Straight from Valley Fair with dead fish. Do, 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 do. The fish like this. We way band down, honey still playing. Do, 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 do. That's when you found out your little cousin came out the closet. Do, 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 do. Don't start it. <laughs> Weak way <laughs> zero Shabazz 180. <laughs> F R E N. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, man. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I told y'all. Catch them on new season, love and hip hop, goddammit. <laughs> Let's go! All right, real quick, I gotta dress up, man. I wanna real, be real simple about it. T, Mom Dukes. Well, have you losing your goddamn mortgage money? Mom Dukes, well, have you losing your mortgage money? She stood up, we all heard the soundtrack. Man, man, listen, she couldn't even get all that ass up. Half of it got up. <laughs> all you heard was, never could have made it without you. Y'all didn't know that she did this? I'm the mother. Never could. She went left to right and some Isley Brothers shit. And you know you got ass when you go, I'm gonna sit back down. You ain't no more of a cougar, young lady. You more of a saber tooth tiger. That shit started in the 1900s. There's no way your mother thicker than you. I need to, hey, hey, give me five lemon drops of Mom Dukes right here. She retired three times, Macy's, Bad Burgers, and Woolworths. I need that for something. <laughs> Ooh, she said I was around when they opened Pathmark, nigga. <laughs> but clap it up for our moms, y'all beautiful. Here is our daughter. Y'all need your own show. And the daughter sitting right there like, I got some too, motherfucker. You got the TikTok, she got the Facebook. <laughs> oh man. And I appreciate all everybody who didn't read the paper and it was an all black. If you got on gold and brown, it's okay. I mean, I don't know who got on gold and brown, but just look around and see. It's a black tie. See? It's these summer school kids. What summer school you went to? Don't do me like that, boy. All right. 
Well, all, they, they, you, you ever fellas know you go to motor vehicles, it's them. You ain't got your license? Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get this $50, man. <laughs> Look, they just rid women ready to correct you. That ain't your child. Those your children. <laughs> all right, man. I need three more people. We gonna start the roast. I got two so far. I need three more. Roast means get up here and talk some shit about her, but don't go too deep. Cause you might get rolled out. As you can see, she got family and friends. And Chris right, Williams right. said, I ain't saying shit. Chris Williams, you good? That nigga said, don't break me. Old school light skin right there. Uh, ain't he smooth? That's the black bow tie. Don't break me. No, I'm gonna give him Tony Terry. When I'm with you. Oh, that's Tony Terry right here. This nigga look, he's too smooth. I hear a song to make me laugh and smile and see. <laughs> These niggas still think they're the shit. When I'm, you light skin too. <laughs> Drew Hill, tell me what you want. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> It ain't good enough to get back. I'm bugging around. <laughs> All right, let me stop, man. You good? You good, big bro? He just sitting. Where you from, man? 16th Dad? Six oh, shit, my nigga. Westside Park? Sell drugs, steal cars? That's all I know. Shit, halfway house? Jamesburg, Annadale, Youth House? That's all I know. Shit, I'm, I'm happy to be here. That's my resume when I had uh, halfway house, Jamesburg. But I am here now with three degrees too, bro. Be proud. Shit, man. I went to Access County College for eight years. Shit. Eight years. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's a two-year school. I did five terms. I thought I was a president, man. I got that first financial aid check. I'm about to buy a brick and dope and flip this shit. The hell with it. And look, you know when you get to college, they have me remedial courses. I have some shit called OA6 Gym. EOF, I was, I was worse than EOF. Who got college degrees? Clap it up. You paid your loans on? Shut the fuck up. That's the real question. You should be trying to get that loan money off your debt. You gotta watch out for that though. You gotta watch out for them, them, them PPs and them loan forgiveness. You know one thing they ain't do, fellas? They ain't forgive child support, my niggas. If, if they would have, if this is how you win the black community for men, forgive child support. <laughs> Man, listen, Barack would have been back in office three times. Cause I ain't gonna lie, doing quarantine, I almost hit that button for that PPP. I was, hey, I was 20 seconds away for that 20 grand. I was like, shit, if I push it, I'll need it. And I had something called CMOS. Y'all haven't seen CMOS? When quarantine come, I ain't know what the fuck was CMOS was, T. I had some sea moss, but when the brother told me where he got it from, I said, where you get this shit from? He said, I went to Winkway Park and just dug it up in the water. And I said, nigga, I'm drinking to everybody who died on Avon in 88. This ain't sea moss, this murder horse. All right, that's some rap jokes. Y'all gotta catch my real shit on True TV next month, y'all. <laughs> that's a good one, right? Yeah, <laughs> murder moss. All right, come on up here, little mama. You on deck right now, little mama. Give it to her, y'all. The daughter gonna come up. Gonna do her piece. And don't go too hard, cause she is a crybaby, as you can see. She been crying all day on social media. Please come out. <laughs> no, please. We gonna get you. Please come out. <laughs> y'all give it up for a daughter, y'all. Let's go in. Is tight at the knees, y'all. This dress, my knees. I'm like my my knees. Okay, but um, make some noise for the lady of the hour. 
me. Me. I'm only kidding. Um, so it took me a, a really, 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 really long time to try to get this together because I'm not somebody who speak in front of everybody. Um, I'm funny naturally. I'm not a stand up here and be hee hee ha hell. That's not, that's not me either. Um, but I did want to come up here and I did want to be able to say something, you know, about my mom. Like she is an amazing person. My mom drives me to no end, pushes me when I have no extra push. Um, for instance, um, my mom dropped me off purposely at Rector Street to teach me a lesson. Purposely. I needed some health insurance and being spoiled, if you want to say, I'm be like, oh, my mom would take care of my insurance. She said, no, you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to go get your own insurance. You're going to figure it out. So everybody's favorite dropped me off at Rector Street at 7 o'clock in the morning. I cried the entire time. We cried, calling her like, mom, please, can you come get me, please? She's like, nope, you need insurance, right? Hung up. Um, left me there all day. I was the last one in there. I should have got a check. The last one there, for sure. Um, she came and got me. She tried to, oh, how did it go? Don't, don't talk to me. I don't, don't ask me how nothing go. You left me down here with the welfare people, scared. I got somebody on the line talking to me, trying to talk to me. We on the line for the same thing, sir. Why are you trying to, you trying to communicate with me? You can't do nothing for me. We standing on the same line. This, this, you can't do nothing for me. But I did get insurance. So shout out to my mom for that lesson. <laughs> I did get some insurance. Um, I did learn how to ride the bus. I'm not somebody who rode the bus. My mother pushed me out there to ride the bus. You need to get somewhere, you're gonna catch the bus. Missed my stop four times. <laughs> Called her crying, telling me to figure it out. But I figured it out and I made it, so shout out to her for that. Teach me how to catch the bus. Wow. <laughs> A lot of my strength come from my mom. I don't think, I don't think that, um, because of my mom, it's not much that I can't handle because of her. Um, my mom hold me down. And a lot of y'all in this room who sh didn't even come from her, hold you down, hold you down all the way, push you all the way. But it's no, 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 no mother like my mom. And I'm, I'm just, I'm glad, I'm glad that I have this kind of example of a woman, of a writer, of, you know what I mean, inspiration, a go-getter, you know what I mean, give you the shirt off your back, literally. She don't like the rain. She'll give you the shirt off her back in the rain. Give you the food out of her mouth. I've seen countless people come and live with my mom. You ain't have nowhere to go. Tatanisha's door is open, and it's been that way since I was a child. You are amazing. Amazing woman, amazing mother, amazing friend, amazing teacher. I don't know what I would do without you. You mean more than anything in this world to me. And I'm so, 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 so grateful. First of all, shout out to my handler, okay? Okay? Because she got to see my, she got to see my mom make 50, and we get to see my grandma make it to mind your business. Okay? Your business. Mom. But mom, you excuse my language, excuse me, grandma, but mom, you are the shit. And if anybody say otherwise, they are lying. I love you. I appreciate you. You are phenomenal. And I am nothing without you. I know this is supposed to be a roast, but um I know, I know. Y'all go ahead and take that. I love you, girl. I love you. The best to ever do it. By yourself. We 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 done, we done seen some times. I seen you get through some crazy crazy stuff with your head your head held high and with us all four of us on your back and everybody else's kid. You that girl and don't let nobody ever ever stir you away from that. Don't forget that you are that girl, that woman, that one. Big time, Tanisha. Don't forget it. Okay. Uh, the biggest. Uh, okay.
Good job, good job. You know my dress tight at the knees. Oh, y'all got tight ass dresses on. Give it to her daughter, I'm getting crying like her mother, goddammit. There's a key word, she said, everybody stay with us. You probably had all niggas in the basement waiting. You come upstairs and mom door next door. He can't come in, he ain't paying no bills. That's crazy. Right, well, quick question, you said, I didn't know you used to dance. Where you used to dance at? I missed out, shit. I got some of my little corporate money in the, in the bag. What we doing here, shit? How many rooms they got in this motherfucker? <laughs> Mommy like, look, 11 days a week, she telling it. We used to dance, I didn't know that. I'm, shit, I'm thinking about that dancing. <laughs> it's a roast, I ain't about to say no shit about you that I like. Your daughter got everybody crying and shit. <laughs> she said, do your thing. My Venmo is, I'm playing with you. <laughs> All right, next up, man, uh, you know what? Doc, come on up here, Doc. There we go, Doc. This is your birthday rose, goddammit. Hey, Mom Deuce. Mom Deuce, we good? If she say we good, we good. Shout out to today's happy birthday. Uh, this might stink, man. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 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 no, but I. I, 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 I've known Tatanisha back in the 90s, back in her stripper days. That's what I'm back. Back, you, you know now, a, a, a stripper now, it, it's, it's popular to be a stripper, so they tell you to come out. Everybody, you know, back then it wasn't like that. You know, they, you, you had to do word of mouth when you had to do your thing. She used to come out in her little slit. She was the only one that had a slit back then. <laughs> garter belts and shit like that. <laughs> and then, the, look, this is why people do know that her last birthday she tried to make a comeback. That's the best. Anybody seen that? Anybody was here for the last one? Her when she made the comeback? <laughs> she was hard back then. She had a full head dress back then. That shit done stressed her out over the years. Took all the sides off then. <laughs> Got her fade now. But, yo, I support you. I love you. It is what it is, man. You know, you from the hood. My people talk to me. Happy birthday. I ain't gonna go all the way in. I don't want her to get mad at me. She was a baby. I, I don't want to say some mother stuff. You're going to be bad. Yo, give it up for that, yo. Yeah, this shit do slip, man. I don't know. He, he ain't me. That's funny. He went right to the shit. You was a dancer. In shit. <laughs> he got a red fall. He did try to make a comeback. I saw that on VH1, my husband. I was watching Love and Lockup, Tatanisha. Comeback 107.5. Give it up for Bumblebee. <laughs> Look, Mom Deuce, like, you ain't tell me that, baby. That shit went on the soap operas. That went right to the shit. That's, you, you have to know. What's up with that slip? <laughs> Christopher Williamson, goddamn. Oh, this is cool. Boy. Maya, come on up here, Maya. Where you at? She hiding. And everybody goggle when they get up here, because this shit ain't me. All right, I don't say your daughter went up first. That shit ain't smell like that. Your daughter went there first like you. Yeah, I'm saying, no, what's good with you? Hey, mommy, y'all fucking with you, but it is what it is. I ain't scared of no plan. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing. Hey, Doc, that's a real nigga. He know he went right to the shit. You had that little slip when you came out. That's funny, man. Well, my ass, she left. All right, we gonna we gonna switch. Uh, right here, you said you wanted to come up. What's your name, sweetheart? Nikki Walker. Nikki, Nikki, go give it up for Nikki. I think she about to get your dream girl, Nikki. On my happy shit, Tatanisha. 
y'all know her clearly because everybody in this building knows and loves Miss Tatisha. But have you ever met a woman who has fallen down so many times? You have fallen down the stairs. You have fallen off the bed. You fall out of favor with the people, but you circle your ass back around on eight, don't you? She fall down on seven and get up on eight. So everybody get a round of applause for Miss Tatisha Nardell, because she is a one of a kind. You got all of the first aid bandages and all of the things, but those things make you so important and so special. This ain't a rose, y'all. I can't even do it. All I gotta say, sis, is you are, you have a heart of gold, you have the mind of an Einstein, and you have the drive of who Diddy wishes he could be. So we already know what it's gonna be when you decide to make it be what it is. We love you, and we honor you, and happy 50th birthday. All right, that was cool. They can't roast you. I think you paid these motherfuckers off, man. I need to check your cash app. She sent you something? I'm with that, man. Anybody else want to come up and talk they shit? Come on up here. Come on up here. Old boy from uh, Menace's Society, Charles S. Dunn. Come on up here. <laughs> I know he got to say he got the rabbit shoulders. Deacon Rock. <laughs> oh, that's why I say it out of comedy. These motherfuckers, y'all yeah, horrible. So listen. I told Ty, I said, listen, she said, so I need you to roast me, Trev. I'm like, I said, Ty, I can't roast you. I said, that's not happening. I said, the other, everybody else can roast you. I can't roast you. She's like, well, just do what you gotta do. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, um, so this, this, this is what I'm gonna say. Ain't nobody crying or the other shit. But this sister right here, this, this little Trini Masters right here. So, so are you from Trinidad or her daddy from Trinidad? Which one? No, her daddy. Somebody from Trinidad. Some, oh, you lying? Who? Ain't nobody from Trinidad? Who from Trinidad? You better tell me right now, cause you've been lying to me for years. Mom's from that's Mom's from Trinidad. Yeah, but where is she from? Where? Where in Trinidad? Where? No, no. Where? Mom's at the. Where in Trinidad you from? She from Gordon's Bay. You sure? I'm from Woodbrook. Look, look, I'm Woodbrook and St. James. Don't play it on games. I can check your documents, don't play around. You sure? So listen, this sister right here, when you talk about love, like sometimes people, like you love people that you are family with, that you lived in the same house with, that paid your mortgage, all that other jazz. This is work love. Like, I didn't see you do what you do and be like, God, Damn, you was a bad, you was a bad motherfucker. Like that's what it is, and that's that's time Tanisha. And, and tonight, if ain't nobody else gonna give her her props, I'm gonna give her her props, and y'all gonna give her her props. Ain't no roasting happening. If whoever wanna roast, they can roast. Ain't no fire up in here. This right here is the truth, and real recognize real from the rip. And from the rip, I was like, yo, like, Tata Nisha, she that chick? So, like, happy 50th birthday. I love you. I don't got to say nothing because we already had all them conversations. But I just want everybody in here to please put your hands together and clap it up for one of the baddest motherfuckers that I know. And I want you to clap like you agree with me for Tatanisha Harrell and her 50th birthday, her mama gave birth to that. That's right. Ain't a roasting in here. I, I got the ninja, it's on my counter in the kitchen, and you ain't in it. So like, that ain't happening tonight. So everybody that loves Tatanisha, one more time, let me hear you say, yeah, yeah! I can't even follow that, goddammit. Give it to him, man. Hey, they can't roast you, Todd. He done took us to church. I thought he was Joe Clark. He, he came a quiet down, quiet down into Joe Clark. Charles Tanisha is a good person. 
They're all expurgated. <laughs> Brother Rag D, he not a he not a preacher. He got them deacon shoulders like he's about to hand out. <laughs> You better look what, the, what they do in church with the offering. There you go. This is what Tanisha uh, fundraiser. She coming back and doing dancing. Give... <laughs> they can't, yo, you know what? When, when somebody can't roast you, that means you have a good soul. I got it, I got it, I got an idea. Mom Dukes, come up here. I know you got something on this heifer. I know you do. God knows I do. Color purple stuff. Come on, Mom. Give it up for Mom Dukes. Come on, I got you. Oh, I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. You can have my mortgage right now. Good evening, and thank you all for coming out and supporting my daughter on her 50th. Look, I don't have a roast. I can't. I was there for 50 years. Look, I've seen her fall. Let me get back up. I've seen her cry. I've seen her laugh. She's even made jokes about me. But this, I'm sorry, I can't roast her either. I just can't because she has the strength that I know my mother had, okay? I was raised by a strong woman and I try to be as strong as possible so that I can have strong daughters strong granddaughters and grandsons and a strong son. But right now, today is about Tatanisha. Tatanisha has had two strokes. She has passed out a couple of times. She's had a tumor on her brain. She's had COVID twice. The first one incapacitated her. But only God saved my baby. Because I'm a grandmother. Nothing is going to get her down. She's powerful, she's strong, she meditates and prays, and every word I say, send her, she reads it, and brings it back to me. Now if I'm feeling some kind of weak one day, she shuts me down and brings me up. I'm grateful for this woman. And I thank God that he allowed me to be here to see her 50th birthday. I thank God that he allowed her to see her 50th birthday. Thank you all for being here. And thank you for loving my daughter. Oh, we can roast after that. Miss Silly did that shit. Show sure, Avery came up here and did that shit. All we need, all we need to hear was Woo. She stepped that bump over like My daughter Tatanisha 
so let me tell you something, Nisha. Remember those hips. Ow, Twister. And she got the same haircut. You the murderer. One more time for mommy. You can't, you can't come out of that shit. She had Chris Williams over here crying. Promises, promises. That shit got deep. But that's what mamas do. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna say that shit. Woo. I was over there about to cry and call my mother. I owe you a hundred dollars. <laughs> we all borrowed money from my parents. Like, my, I need a hundred dollars. What happened? I was out with the Tantanese. She uh, spent like two hundred dollars at the bar, man. I'm in the hole. She over here getting fucked up. You good? You been crying all day. Isn't it? Anybody else before we end the road? You want to come up? All right, give it up for the brother. What's your name, bro? Blue? Give it up for Blue, y'all. I'm not going to roast you. I got to tell y'all a quick story about how I met Tatanisha. I met Tatanisha over COVID. When the fine team, we actually started a podcast together. And, uh... Tatanisha is the person that, uh, can y'all hear me? I'm sorry. Tatanisha is truly a friend of me. Uh, we went to Mexico. When we went to Mexico, I'm gonna tell you how real Tatanisha is. We went up on the, uh, the zip line. And as soon as we get to the top, she said, oh hell no. Oh hell no, I can't do this. I wanted to say it, but I ain't wanna look like no punk, so I just went down the zip line. <laughs> but, um, Again, Tatanisha, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. You've been there for me, you've been there for us. When I proposed, she was yelling so loud, I had to stop, I almost forgot what the hell I was, I almost forgot to propose to her. I said, if that ain't a friend, then I don't know what else is. But um, we love you, I love you, and I'm glad to be here to share your birthday with you. Let me know when the AARP card come in. <laughs> That's a good one. Give it up to him. That's a good one. That's the punchline. Yo, you, 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 you close to AARP, goddamn it. And she probably in your email. They probably on her Instagram. Follow AARP, goddamn it. You about to get a blue check. You want to come back up, Doc? Doc want to come back up. That's what I'm talking about. This is a rose. You got one more story, Doc? Okay. I want to talk about the time when she fell. The, the, the time that mother talking about. One of, one of them situations when you fell. No, but look, they used to call Tatisha the, 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 the Miss Windmill. That was her name back then. Right? Yeah, Miss Windmill in the strip club. Right? She used to get on the pole and go around and for. Miss <laughs> Whitman, right? So I, I come in back then, I wasn't getting no money or nothing, I ain't had no money. So I had my little $16, all balled up, 16 balls, right? And I used to throw them. There she go. I wait till she do at least three, three twirls, then I, I send one. Woo. Woo. Right? Miss Windmill, take my $16, I go home, you know what I mean, catch the bus, I mean, get my little ride home, and I'm done. But when I came back for the comeback, right, I had a little bit more dollars this time. So I wanted to see Miss Windmill get back on the pole and do that shit again. Poof, poof. She said she was gonna do it. She said, yo, come out to my birthday party. This is my 49th, right? I still got it, Dad, I'm telling you that. I said, you sure? You sure? She said, yo, I got it. I'm going back up and miss Whitman. So I'm going there. Now, I got 32 dollars. Balled up on that motherfucker. Count this shit. Each ball, I'm ready to throw this shit, right? She get back up there, miss Whitman. And went straight down. Boom! Damn! 
<laughs> so I don't know the story she told you about when she fell and how that shit happened. But if you don't know about that shit, how that happened, that's how that happened. And I left out of it with 31 dots. <laughs> but yeah, happy birthday. I want to tell that story. I'm talking about when you fell down. That's what I was dead. I was dead for that. Yo, give it the dot, yo. Oh, yo. <laughs> he wanted to say that shit for so long. This nigga went after him. I got one more. He even know the numbers of the money he had. This nigga's nice in geometry. Yo, he broke this shit down. 31, 16, 11, 14. That's funny, man. You been in a lot of her events, goddammit. You like strippers, don't you? <laughs> I can tell. He's like, how much it costs to get in? It is what it is. That's the stripper dude right there. Damn, that's that's hilarious, man. Yo, you got good timing for comedy, bro. That that boom boom bit, that's that's good, man. You ever did comedy? Nah, just a street nigga. You can tell he hustling the shit out you. I got this crypto. It's called Tatanisha. If you buy it, you get a windmill. But give me third to no, fuck with you. That's funny, man. Uh, anybody else? This is like the the, the, the honest good roast. All right, Drew Hill's in the building, y'all. Come on, we about to tell me. This is getting good and good, man. What's up? Everybody get a round of applause for Jodeci over here. <laughs> New Millennium Jodeci. <laughs> But nah, I'm not really into, um, I'm not speaking, I'm not much of a speaking in big crowds like this, but it's from my homegirl, Tatsanisha. Um, I'm not going to roast it really, but I am going to say a couple of things. I got to let the cat out the bag for you, but uh, we all know how hard Tatsanisha work, right? Low key, she still got a Blackberry. <laughs> Straight. So when we talk about survivors, right? And you know, we, we, you know, I'm, I'm there for it all. <laughs> yeah, I had to let him know that. But, um, yeah, true story, true story, true story. We all know how Tatini shit gives it up with the, with, with working hard and everything. Uh, and one unfortunate moment, you know, we was in the emergency room because you had a uh, situation that happened. And I was there front and center, as usual. And while she's going through an issue, why this chick is trying to devise an event going on right then and there? Like she stays on the beat. And that's the epitome of being anointed. Is you take all your faults, throw it behind the faith, and let the faith carry through. Can I get a witness? Right. But really though, Tati, you put the S in Superwoman. You are the truest Superwoman. You fall too many times, you're a survivor. You're sexy. You are sublime. You are very, very in tune with, you know, all your counterparts. And this is just light, because this more, this more to your work, more than your testimony that reaches further than them. And I just want to step up here and tell you how much I appreciate you and how everyone here appreciates you. We're here for you for your birthday. Half a century though, but you know what time it is. We love you, Tati. I got you. Right, I'm gonna let you slide with that Jodis you shit. I'm gonna let you slide with it. It was, it was pretty funny. It was good. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I got one thing too. Uh, Ty is a she's a good person too because uh, just so you know, if you don't know me. I'm an actor comedian from North New Jersey. My name is Hassan Oliver. And uh, I know some people over there, who's the host? He's funny. I'm an actual comedian. Been doing it for 15 years. Uh, from North New Jersey, went to West Side High School, Essex County College, and I got my degree in film school. I didn't get it in college, I got it in film school and comedy school. And what she did for me one day, it was tough because she asked me to host for 24 hours a piece, right? And as a comedian, this is the time they was attacking Dave Chappelle and everybody. So I was up there, and it's crazy, we was on Lion's Ave, nigga. 
24 hours a piece of my ass. I got an Uber black truck to drop me off. Cause you do got Leslie right there and Wayne right. At the Shabazz and Weekway game. So I'm out there, we hosting. It was a good situation. And I'm up there telling jokes at the 24 hours a piece. And I did a joke about North Water. We all know North had the best water forever. Am I correct? We had alkaline water for years. We had one bad year. We had one bucked up year. And I had to address it. And the wrong person was there to hear it. And Tantanese and, and, and uh, the whole bar uh, garage of them was about chill, chill, chill. She, she understood. Chill, chill. You won't lose your job. Get, say that shit. Apologize. I said to who? And that's when I start learning. There's politics around here. But nigga, we on lines out by extra. These look, these feet, a hundred fiends over here. When this shit finished, I'm trying to get everything in 25 hours. So I gotta address the politics part of the comedy of the joke I did about the water. The VH1 was here. And I said, y'all packed the VH1s, but y'all couldn't fix the water. It was, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, DJ Mitty, her and about four apologists, apologize, apologize. That's who she ain't had a, that she had to apologize. I said, for what? You talked about the water. Felt like we was back in slavery. I said, us fixing to get married now. 